Welcome to Primo Trail Sales and a first look inside a stunning 283 RKS in Coachman's Catalina Legacy Series. This is an updated 2020 and a half model, so it's got some of their mid-year changes here. Some really great little uh, highlights here that we'll, we'll walk you through that really add to experience, make life easier on the road. And uh, certainly very comfortable for two people, uh, but a great one if you do like to entertain. You will have some additional bed space as well in here. So certainly if you have extra family members once in a while or perhaps uh, grandchildren, you know, certainly they'll be, they'll be well taken care of. We're going to start up front here. Uh, we come in the main door. We'll have our bathroom just off to the right of the door. So the nice thing is if you do want to get in, use your own bathroom on the road, it's nice and easy to do that. They put in lots of storage here in the bathroom in the redesigned bathroom. So you've got uh, three great storage areas here. So this is a great one for extra bedding, all your towels. You've got a redesigned shower, so a much larger shower stall with glass sliding doors. We've got our skylight above there, so if you're a bit taller, you've got lots of headroom. We've got the built-in fan as well. LED th lights throughout the coach, so it's nice and bright in here even without the LED light on today. And then we've got the uh, ducted AC right through the coach. That includes the bathroom, the bedroom, all those good things. So nice and easy to get to. Again, nothing that you have to open. Should you want to do, again, a bit of simple camping, uh, ability to get to your your bedroom as well without having to open the slide is a really nice feature. Just outside the bedroom we do have the thermostat so you can quickly turn on the AC if you're getting uh, hot at night or certainly if you're getting cool as you head into the fall. We've got great cross ventilation here in the bedroom so we've got the two windows here. One of them will be an emergency exit window. So they've redesigned uh, the bedroom here for 2020 half just listening to their customers. They used to have the um, two fairly thin uh, cupboards on either side of the bed and and for some people they, they found that a little bit claustrophobic so they've made some changes here so they've left in all the overhead storage so you still have a ton of storage uh, out of the again LED lights under here so his and her LED lights you've got still your uh, plugins on the side so if you've got a CPAP machine you're all set up you also have USB inputs on either side so you can charge devices you still have a place to be able to put a glass of water things like that at night and you still have the ability to get around the bed but they've made this bed bigger. So this is a wider uh, than average bed for an RV, which is great. So a little bit of extra room, or perhaps if the dog climbs in with you once in a while, great little feature. So they've taken those two fairly narrow cupboards and made a much larger cupboard here in the bedroom, which I think most people will find quite practical. So you've got, again, a nice big closet here. You can hang some coats, you can hang uh, anything you may be bringing with you on the trip. And when they did that, they also added three drawers. So you used to have one or two, depending on the model. Now you've got three in this bedroom. So they've made it a much more functional bedroom for storage, still keeping the weight in mind. One of the things I absolutely love about all the Catalina series, you will have tongue and groove plywood floors all the way through. Uh, that is a weak point in most trailers. Unfortunately, anything on the market made by uh, companies like Thor, which certainly are a a major owner of many different brands in the industry, you're going to have a lot of US OSB. So if you have any kind of water infiltration, unfortunately, it just never goes back to what it once was. So one of the features that certainly the couples have always responded to on the 283 is the fact that you have this big window that looks right out onto your campsite. So you're not looking onto your neighbors or perhaps looking onto, you know, a storage facility or something on the back side. You've got two uh, recliners here standard. And you've right across from that, you have a tri-fold sofa bed that will make into a true bed for an extra couple or perhaps a couple grandkids if they're visiting. The nice thing here is they're both freestanding. So if you wanted to swap the couch for the chairs, uh, because that's your preference, you really have the ability to do that at any time. And then we also have the dinette here, which has great storage underneath it. So you've got two easy access doors on the bottom, but you also have easy access through the top. Uh, this will make another bed as well. So if you just didn't want to put out the trifold, but you just needed that small extra bed, perhaps for a grandchild, uh, it's an easy one just to pop down. We've got the windows all the way around. The big ones in the middle here will um, open up so you can have great ventilation, cross ventilation in the middle. They've done some nice updates. The little lights on the insides are beautiful little sconce lights on the walls. Beautiful little overhead light fixture right above your dining table. And then they've also made some changes here to our entertainment center. So rather than having a, a fixed size for uh, your TV, where it would only fit a limited size, really here, if you wanted to have a 50 inch wide TV, you could certainly do that. You could move this one to say your bedroom. It is all pre-wired for it in the bedroom. So it gives you some options for the future to kind of make some upgrades. Uh, this is free over the air signals we're grabbing here now, I should mention. They've also made some changes in the hookup. So for accessories, they've now gone to an HDMI. So it's a nice, clean, easy hookup for any other 
uh, video game systems or things like that you may wish to add. We've got our electric fireplace as part of the Legacy series, so a great little Furion uh, unit that'll basically heat this area in the living area. So it's a nice one to not have to turn on the uh, propane furnace to be able to say watch a movie and, and still keep warm. So it's a great alternative. This, as I mentioned on the outside, is our Bluetooth Furion stereo. So we can control our inside speakers, outside speakers. Uh, we can stream our music to it as well. So it's a great multi-function uh, entertainment center uh, with some heat as well, with great storage for all the media they may want to bring with you as well. So being an RKS rear kitchen, always very popular for us. And, and this kitchen certainly has always been one of the most popular because of the amount of counter space, the amount of storage they have. And they've made some great little improvements I hear. I think that'll just help people with the usage. Right on the very end of our kitchen cabinet, we have our monitor panel. So this gives us easy access to how full our tanks are, uh, turning on our uh, DSI hot water tank, uh, putting out our slide out, putting out our awning. So everything's easily at hand right there when you come in. So you don't have to trip over anything to get to it. We've got a ton of counter space here. Uh, that's what everybody absolutely loves, the amount of prep space. You could have a couple people working in here. You've got great uh, drawers here. You've got a built-in cutlery drawer already with dividers. And then you'll notice we also have the metal drawer guides. So they'll support quite a bit of weight. You can put 50 pounds in there. So rather than having all of your uh, um, plugins either underneath a cabinet or say in a wall, they've added this little pop-up guy which has got a USB charging station as well as two outlets for things like your coffee makers or those kind of things but when it's ready you can pop it down if you want to be able to put something over top of it as well. I mentioned on the outside it does come with a little uh, slide in spotlight for your awning so that's right from Dometic the maker of your awning and there's a few other accessories that you could add in future years if you wish but you get a great little spotlight which could help you again for doing some minor repairs things like that over time. They've changed up their faucet so went to a little bit of a high rise faucet with a Vegetable sprayer, great little design. They've gone to more of a farmhouse sink here, so more what people are using uh, in their, their homes nowadays. So great wide open sink there with the inserts. Again, we get all that counter space, and that continues right over the stove top. So we've got beautiful backsplash here, but with our Furion uh, three burner stove and oven, uh, it does have an igniter, but the top also serves as a secondary backsplash. So if we pop that guy back, Again, we've got the ability to just clean off the backside of that if we're, we're doing some sauce or some soup, things like that. You do have the ability to vent. You've got your microwave here just above. And then the amount of storage you have in this rear kitchen is, is just amazing. So if you want to bring in the formal dishes, you certainly have the room. You've got room for your garbage, pots and pans underneath here. And then right off the side of our six cubic foot fridge, we've got our pantry. That'll go back three feet. So we've got just a ton of space there to be able to load up at Costco at the beginning of the season and away we go. We're all set for our main trip. I invite you down to Primo Trail Sales to come have a closer look at the stunningly redesigned 2020 and a half 283 RKS in Coachman's Catalina Legacy Series at Primo Trail Sales.